Okay, so I'm continuing on with the uh, Korean Zen meditation retreat that Nicole and I did. Uh, popping out was an interesting experience. Uh, I was sitting in meditation, all of a sudden started uh, shaking violently. It was like an epileptic seizure. I'd, and uh, But I was still sitting. I was still sitting in the meditative posture somehow and shaking like crazy. Uh, afterwards, uh, Simon, who got me to ret retreat, said, the monks want to see you. They've got a big uh, tub of water. If you can just sit it and shake, they need to do their laundry. <laughs> Which was uh, funny in a surreal kind of a way. And then I went and spoke with the man who created the experience, Subal, and his interpreter, and asked them how to deepen the experience. Uh, but the next day, everything was okay. And I I went for a walk, and there's a big loop around. And it's deceptive the way it goes. I mean, I'm not good at directions anyway, so maybe it's not that deceptive. But I started on the loop and ran into one of the other practitioners. And she said, you're not going to be back in time for, I've tried this, you're not going to be back in time for the Dharma talk. And I said, oh, I'll be back in time. And I went out, and I got, well, I mean, out two and a half hours and got to this place, this little village, and it was very definitely a, a small Korean village, and a little uncomfortable being there for me. I mean, I'm a chicken, and it's it's absolutely safe here in Korea. Uh, nobody's going to hurt you as far as I know. But got there and thought, oh, I don't know where to go from here. So I went back two and a half hours, five hours hike, and missed the Dharma talk. But uh, when I got back, uh, Simon said, have you seen Nicole? And I knew that she had had her experience. And so I, she said it was one of the most magnificent things. I want her to do a talk on this. I want her to talk into my iPad so you get uh, just how the experience was for her. It was magnificent for me, but her description of it was just absolutely compelling. It was magnificent. And some of me got a sense that I had to be as far away from her as I could be for her to have the experience. And it may be bullshit. It may be uh, incorrect. It may be mind interpretation. But I was absolutely okay being lost on this walk for hours. Tired, mind you. It's up up a lot of hills, down a lot of hills. And uh, the interesting thing was, a couple of days later, we made the same walk, and I saw where I made the wrong turn. Right, A couple of days later, we made almost the same turn that I had made when it was the wrong turn, and I ended up exactly where I ended up when I was lost. And I can never say, I can't say I was lost because I wasn't. I knew where I was. I knew how to get back, but I couldn't figure out how to get where I wanted to go. So maybe that's the definition of lost. But we went on this walk and we got down into this little kind of a villagey sort of area. And I thought, well, this is where I've been. Yes, this, 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 this. And <laughs> I was within a half a kilometer of the front door of the monastery where we worked at. And I couldn't find it from there. And we walked around this corner and I said, I can't believe this. I walked back over two hours to get back to where I went. And I, it would have been, it would take me another ten minutes and I would have made the Dharma talk. And, but I was out there enjoying life. Uh, Nicole had her experience, which again, I want her to talk in front of my iPad so you all can get what this is about. And um, uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, it's a different way of getting into an alternative reality. Um, and I, anybody who's been searching, I think that they would really, really, really enjoy it. It's not easy. Let me be real clear about that. It's not easy. If you follow Subal's instructions, uh, it's not easy. But it's worth it. www.micpeakperformance.com